first day? I mean, yeah, you know, you guys, you guys have been around football for a long time. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing really to say. You know, the first day you should have a good attitude. Um, your second year in the program, in your first day, you should be ahead of where you were a year ago, just from, um, you know, being able to function. And, and that's really what it was. You know, um, you know, nothing jumped out one way or the other. Uh, it kind of is what it is. You know, like I told our guys, you know, we had them yesterday as well. Yesterday's all philosophy, and they probably don't realize how much coaches like to talk about philosophy. So they got all the philosophy stuff out of the way yesterday. You know, we met this morning, uh, talked about safety, um, A to Z with helmet, helmet use, um, you know, equipment man talking about helmet fitting right, shoulder pads fitting right, trainer talking. Uh, Coach Cosgrove got up and talked about defense, how we teach tackling in front of the whole team. Uh, Coach Lansmeyer got up and talked about how we teach blocking, you know, so it's safety first. And, um, you know, then we came out here this afternoon and practiced. But, you know, nothing out of the ordinary from any other first day I've been involved with. So what was your message to him at the end of the day out there? Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, we always go back and talk about, you know, when you're not in pads, if the ball's on the ground on a fumble situation, don't dive on that ball because you end up getting somebody hurt trying to do it. Just the things you really don't do when you don't have pads on from a safety first kind of a perspective. And then we talk about just what to do after practice, you know, because as good a shape as they're in, all summer they didn't come out here and stand or practice for two and a half hours, and those receivers and running backs didn't get as many reps as they got today. So how do you take care of your body post-practice? You know, that's a big part of it. You guys know we have a new trainer in Bob Waller. I couldn't be more happy. You know, we went through a really – Really heck of a process uh, and looked across the country, uh, brought in four different trainers for interviews. Um, Bob Waller, the fact that he was here uh, for an extended period of time, uh, then he left and went to Wyoming for a significant period of time, I think gives him a great perspective on what this place is, uh, what we can do better. And, um, you know, we're fortunate to have him back. So, you know, that's kind of what that post practice was. Just, you know, what do you do as a major college football player now that practice is over you know you've got to stretch you've got to get in there and get on that foam roller the training rooms open hydration you know all those kind of things just uh, walking around looking at all the various position groups you talked about numbers yesterday uh, how comforting is just to, to see some of the approved numbers in some of those groups yeah you know i was joking with lensmeyer you know this afternoon just based on this morning's walk on uh, walk through you know just how many offensive linemen that's what jumps out at you first Again, we know how quickly that number can deteriorate, but you know, it wasn't long ago where you guys were out here and we, we were just trying to get two offensive lines on the field. So, you know, that's encouraging. And really it is at all positions. You know, we're still a little bit thin at wide receiver, you know, because we lost three seniors last year. I think we have some talent there. Uh, our numbers aren't quite built up as much. You may have noticed, you know, one thing, uh, you know, Tyler Duncan is a scholarship wide receiver we brought in from California junior college player that's here on scholarship, which helped our numbers. Um, you know, Bijan Parker will actually count on next year's numbers. That's part of that gray shirt. So really, you know, the opportunity to get Tyler Duncan as a junior college player. Um, you know, he played at Long Beach Poly High School. Uh, you know, we feel good about just getting an older guy in here at a receiver. With the offensive line, because you have some returners and some numbers, can you kind of rely on them um, to kind of help work them into it these first couple days? You know, I think that's, you know, it's obviously right now the, the, the offensive line and running backs is the strength of our football team. And, and, you know, but that's something you don't ever take for granted. In fact, that's one thing I said here at the end. You know, you can see even offense, defense, right off the bat, even without pads, you know, we can run the ball. But that's something we're not going to ever take for granted and say, well, we can run it. Now all we need to do is work on our passing game. You know, every day, I mean, it's running the football for us because that, that's who we are. Um, but, but, yeah, I mean, our offensive line, uh, you know, of, of all the remarkable stories just in, you know, the evolution of this program, the offensive line is the greatest example. You know, I remember when I first came in here, um, you know, the word was dysfunctional. The word that was relayed to me from – coaches was it's dysfunctional the offensive line and just you have to start over and that that group's been anything but dysfunctional and I think that if anything 
If anything shows uh, our program, it's that offensive line's development. But again, it's not like we take for granted that we've arrived. I mean, it's, it's an everyday process. Okay, guys? Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, guys.